Hi, this is Oakley from Academy Training Solutions. Um, don't forget to get in touch with us if you want any further training, or if you just want to get in touch and have a chat about something that you're stuck on. Um, here's the phone number if you want to call, and here's our web address. You can contact us directly through the web, and we'll call you back if you need. Now today we're going to talk about Excel, and in particular pivot tables within Excel. Now here I've got a set of data, which is basically employees within a company, the department that they belong to, and it's to do with their gym membership or their spa membership, and this is the type of membership that they've actually got, the annual fee, and when the membership is due. Now when you're making a pivot table it's important to not have any blank rows or columns within your data, and if you do then the wizard is going to actually stop at that point. So I'm just going to scroll down here so you can see my data actually goes up to line 108 and I and it actually starts at the top here at A6. So you're going to see if I click anywhere within here and then insert a pivot table, the wizard will actually pick from A6 to I108. So that's correct. And it's always worth actually checking that before you put in your pivot table. Now I want this pivot table to appear on a new worksheet, so I click OK here, and there's my pivot table, or there will my pivot table be, um, and you notice here I've got the field list of all the different fields that were within that data and various different boxes here that I can drag them down to. Now, on the classic version, you used to be able to drag the fields across onto here and that was a much more intuitive way of working rather than dragging them down here um, or just clicking on them and letting them automatically select down here. Now you can actually change back to the classic view and I'm going to show you how to do that you go to Options and Display, and then Classic Pivot Table Layout, and that enables a dragging of fields into a grid. And click OK, and now you'll notice that my grid here is quite different. And now I can drag things across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag across the type of membership that people have, and I'm going to put that in my column field. And you notice now I've got the various different types. I'm going to drag the department that people are in over here into my rows. So now I've got the, the departments and the types of membership, but still no data in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in the annual fee. Okay. Now this is giving me a total, grand total of all the fees, um, simply by summing the rows and columns going across. Okay. You'll also notice I've got various drop downs here. Um, I can select, basically, I can filter the drop downs. Um, and it changes my pivot table there. So if I've got too much data showing at any one time, I can actually sort it just by part of the data. Okay. So there's my gold memberships by department. And very simply, I can go back to showing all the data. Now, what to do with this data once we've actually got it? Um, with the pivot table, I might want to actually change the formatting of some of this just to make it appear slightly better. Um, First thing I'm going to do is I click anywhere within these numbers here. These are amounts of money. So I'm going to change the number format into currency, take off the decimal places, and click OK. And you notice it's not just changed the one that I've selected, it's changed all of the currency values in the field there. I can also change some of the data here manually. So I don't have to be working within the pivot table tools. I can go back to the normal, the standard tools, and change that all to bold. Um, and that works just as well. I've also got style buttons that I can choose from here. So I can choose some style buttons here. And I can choose to have banded columns or banded rows as well. And if I choose a style that's actually got banded rows, then you'll see it slightly clearer. Um, if I choose the banded columns, you'll see it appearing slightly differently. And you'll see why I've chosen the columns rather than the rows in a second. Okay, let's add some more data into here because these are the total amounts that we're spending on gym membership. But actually what I want to see is I want to see the average amount. So I'm going to drag annual fee across here again. And you'll see now I've got some of annual fee once and some of annual fee twice. Rather than having sum of annual fee, I'm going to go down to the value field settings, 
and I'm going to choose the average rather than the sum and I'm going to change this to just saying average and click OK and you see now it says average and then in here again I need to change the number format so that represents currency OK now on this one here I do the same again value field settings now rather than saying sum of annual fee I'm going to say total total fee and click OK there we go now you can see now why I banded the columns rather than the rows um, I can see for example here that my silver membership for enterprise is 3000 but that's not representative, the average is about 750 so it's actually quite a lot lower and you'll notice that within these various different types of membership the average is actually the membership for one individual yeah. now another thing we can do rather than just having this displayed as a table we can have it displayed as a chart so we can choose pivot chart from here and I'm going to just choose uh, columns here click OK and it puts my chart in the same in the same table. I don't want it in the same table so I'm going to move the chart and I'm going to move it onto a new sheet. So now you notice I've got my chart sheet down here I've got my pivot table data there I've got the actual data behind the pivot table there and actually this last one here is just a lookup table for the, the months of the year. Now my chart itself this is quite busy it's still showing too much information but I can filter this information. I can go down to department I can choose just for example the first four departments and show the data for them but you'll notice it's still showing me total fee and average fee I'm going to take off the average fee now a simple way of doing that is to come over here click on there and just drag it off now this is showing me the total fee by department the four departments that I've selected um, for the various different types of membership should I want to I could select all the departments again but this time filter by the types of membership so I might just want to filter by the gold membership and show me just the values for the gold membership but what you will notice is that by filtering here on the chart it's actually filtering the data in the pivot table as well because they're linked together they're not completely separate okay that's all I've got for you today on pivot tables. They are much more complex than that. You can do much more with them. You can format them, you can filter them, you can play around with them to your heart's content. But that's all I've got for you today. I hope it's been useful and don't forget to call if you have any questions or you can question me on the YouTube links. Okay, I'm Oakley from Academy Training and thank you for listening.